Greetings. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up your ScanSnap to scan directly into Evernote. First of all, what is Evernote? Evernote is an application to save your notes in. It's a web application, but there are you can also have it on your Mac or PC and your mobile devices, and then it syncs the notes between all three of those devices, devices which is very useful. Another um, great feature about Evernote is that it has search rec or text recognition in pictures and PDF files and it will return those in your searches. So the searching capability uh, works really well. And so you could like scan a bunch of um, recipes from your favorite magazine and it is going to be able to return, you know, you want to search for an ingredient that's in those re recipes, it will actually be able to read the picture or PDF that that um, recipe was saved as and return it in your search results. And it's a great way to try to go paperless, which is my mission. I currently have about 10,000 notes in Evernote and I am just slowly, you know, working through all of the <laughs> documents in the house, you know, that's appropriate and getting them into Evernote. Which leads me to what is ScanSnap. ScanSnap is a device that is going to allow you to scan documents and papers much quicker. So you can scan maybe 20 pages in a minute or something. That's crazy. And then you can set it up to scan directly into Evernote, which is the purpose of this presentation. So I use the ScanSnap S1300, which is the one shown on the previous page. And can be, this can be used with a Mac or a PC, and this is the version that I use due to its flexibility. It's very easy to set up, and um, it's also portable, which is um, great. There are other larger ones that'll take larger stacks of documents, but they scan, they either work only with a PC or with a Mac. So this one is great for flexibility, and it's a little less expensive. Since I already have the software installed on setup on my PC, I'm going to install it on my Mac today so that you can follow along. So watch as I set it up to scan directly into Evernote. So you can do this to um, a New York ScanSnap software. It saves you time. So first step is to install the ScanSnap software. Follow the directions that came with your device. I'm not going to go through that step by step. So now open the ScanSnap from the folder it was installed to. Um, you can see on the Mac, it's the ScanSnapManager.app for application. On a PC, it will be a .exe file for executable. If your Mac is not letting you open the app because of a quick start, right-click on the icon, it's that S icon in the picture on the left, and select the Settings option because we're going to set up our own settings. We don't want quick start. So uncheck the quick menu because it's going to turn off that quick start. Now once you've unchecked that the profile option is going to appear. Click on the, the drop down box and choose add profile. Now name this profile Evernote because that is what we're going to do. We are setting this up to scan directly from the ScanSnap device into Evernote and the reason we want to do this is to save time. Um, when you scan from like a flatbed scanner or somewhere, usually you're scanning right to the computer it's hooked up to, and then it will save the file, and then maybe you want to edit the file, and then you gotta rename it or move it right to Evernote, and it's extra steps. This it will save you a lot of time by saving it directly in Evernote. It cu cuts out a lot of the middle steps. Now, you can see on the upper right that Evernote is selected as a profile, so make sure that that's what your shows and then click the application tab on the left. Once you're in the application tab, click the add button. Again, we're going to click the add button to specify the location. So specify the name, Evernote, that's the name of the application we're setting up. And now click the browse button and browse to the location of your Evernote application. So if you don't yet have Evernote installed, please pause this and go install Evernote at www.evernote.com. 
Now that you have it installed, you are looking for the Evernote.app file or the Evernote.exe file on a PC. So once you've done that, you're back on the application tab. You want to choose in the drop down Evernote and then click apply to save. Um, this next tab, the save tab, I'm going to go through quickly, but you really don't need to make any changes when you're saving to Evernote. So you can specify the folder location, but if you're saving to Evernote, it's not going to use it. If you wanted to save to a location on your computer, that's when you might want to come in here and change the settings. The file name format, um, for this purpose I also don't recommend that you really need to change that because once it creates the note, it will use the file name as the note header and you can just change that immediately but it does matter more if you're saving directly to your computer. Next is the scanning tab. The options are image quality, color mode, and the scanning side. And we're going to go through those in more detail. Um, the use it, here are the image quality options. Now I just choose normal, but you can choose other options. Note of course that choosing higher resolution, you know, the better, best, excellent, is going to result in a larger file size which if you're on the Evernote free may suck up the space you have allotted pretty quickly. But you know, it just depends on what you're what you're scanning and if the scan is good enough. I always scan a normal and I've never had a problem. So that may work for you as well. Next is the color mode. I use the auto color detection, but if you're wanting to scan as a picture file, a JPEG, choose color or gray. Um, and then if you really want to have your file size smaller, choose black and white. Scanning side, you can specify a duplex scan or a simplex scan, which is single sided. So that's double or single sided. I choose duplex because when you click the option button, you can select, and I think, believe this is pretty selected for you, allow automatic blank page removal. So if you're scanning 20 pages and only half of them have a double side, something written on the second side, it will not save the blank pages of the first 10 that don't have anything on the second side. So that just makes it easier and means that I don't have to switch back and forth. So those are the settings I use. Uh, the file option tab, there is the file format drop down. If you have selected the auto color mode, PDF will be your only option. So like I was saying in the previous slide, um, choose color or gray if you want the JPEG option to save it as a picture and again this matters whether you because if you're using the free version you're gonna want a JPEG if you're using Prime it doesn't matter you can just use the PDF now below this you see that um, the select OCR so the, the reason that the PDF matters in Evernote is only if you have Prime will it have a searchable PDF for you and that is when they apply their OCR technology to make the PDF searchable. You can select um, convert to searchable PDF here in the ScanSnap software. Um, my understanding is that that does make the whole scanning process take a lot longer so that may not be what you want but feel free to play with that if you want to try it. So I had finished setting up all the settings that I needed for my Evernote profile, so I scanned a page. This is um, from a magazine, and it's, you know, food taste test for olives. So, kind of something interesting. You know, I might want to reference one day, so I scanned it into Evernote. You can see how it gives it the timestamp name up on the top. So, you can easily, it's going to open up in your Evernote immediately once it's finished scanning. So that's when you can make the changes you want to make, you know, put, give the name, uh, title to the note, select the notebook that you want it to save to, if it's different than, than the default, and give it tags. Um, you can see it saved to my Bang Inbox notebook. Um, I would suggest everyone have one of those because the, the Bang or exclamation makes it uh, the first in your list of notebooks, which is kind of nice. And then having an inbox notebook is kind of your catch-all spot for 
you know, where you're going to save things initially before you've named them and tagged them and, you know, really decided where they should go. So it's very useful. Um, a note like this, I actually would probably not bother changing the name or even adding tags. I would just put it right into like a food notebook. And the reason for that is, is because of the search capability within Evernote, I will be able to easily find this when I'm searching for Kalamata olives or green olives, just um, by the text in it. And I probably wouldn't really be looking for it by name because it's a magazine article. It doesn't really have a great name anyway. This is what it looks like in the just overall view when you don't have the note open. So you can see that the that's how the title would show up. And it will, when you're scanning um, from the scan stamp into Evernote, it will save it into the notebook that you have selected. So if, if Inbox for me wasn't selected when I scanned this note, say it was a daily journal, that's where it would put the note. So you really want to make a habit of having your inbox selected or you might have a challenge finding your note later if you don't move it to the appropriate folder. <laughs> uh, if you're interested in other articles about going paperless, um, here's a few on my website. There are more, so feel free to search around on there for that. And hopefully this presentation was helpful. Um, get you scanning directly into Evernote, saving you time. Please email me and let me know at lori at optimizedlifechips.com. And if you have any other questions or suggestions for similar presentations, something that I can demonstrate or show for you answer, I'd be happy to do so. Just send me some questions. If you're interested in more ways to optimize your life, you can sign up to receive tips twice a week like this on um, little tips to help you save time, be more efficient. And that's at optimizeyourlifetips.com, or you can just click the link here on the page. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thanks.